Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, The Lens India Professional Photography and this series of Mastering Lightroom CC. So in this video, we will be covering the last tab of the develop model that is the calibration uh, tab. So the calibration tab is something uh, what basically is used uh, when we are working with two different camera makes and probably uh, at many a times when manufacturer A and manufacturer B of the camera, if you uh, try to interpret, if they try to interpret the colors, they may interpret the colors in a different way. Probably blue for uh, whatever is the blue for camera manufacturer A may not be the blue for camera manufacturer B. So they may have a slight difference between both the blues or any other color per se. So particularly when we talk about uh, the camera, so the image sensor does not understand the color as such basically and they understand the only the brightness value that is the bright or darks. But uh, what are the uh, color layers which are available in front of the sensor that is what we have the red, green and blue. So depending on that red, green and blue, so each camera manufacturer will have their uh, typical way of rendering those colors uh, in the camera and they may have the different algorithms all together uh, to process that color uh, or to read that color or to interpret that color. So just to match the color particularly when we are uh, when we are working with two different makes of camera and we are uh, going to process those images. Uh, so before we process all the images we may uh, at times have to match the raw files uh, for the colors uh, with respect to the other camera. So that is the whole purpose of this calibration tab which is provided in the Lightroom. But honestly uh, speaking, this is uh, the very rarely used tab uh, by many of the photographers or the editors when we are working with the Lightrooms and people usually don't bother about this calibration tabs. But still uh, just uh, to uh, share with all of you, I just wanted to uh, share the what are the information I have uh, with this calibration tabs. So if you go through the calibration tab you will see that there are a lot of sliders uh, that is the shadows red, green and primary blue and the process uh, you will see that there is something called as process and you will see that there are different different versions right from version 1 to version 5 we have over here. So the uh, whenever we are using Lightroom, so uh, Lightroom has its own rendering engine, uh, so where it interprets the raw file for each camera manufacturer or uh, the each raw is uh, def definitely is uh, basically detected and the rendering of the color is done by the Lightroom and and we can see that there are previous versions which are available right from the version one to version five. So usually the current version is always used. And uh, just to demonstrate what is the difference, so you, if you see that in basic tab you have exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites and blacks with the current version 5. Now if I go to version 1 and if you see the tabs which are available right now here is exposure, recovery, fill light, black. So you will not see any uh, whites and highlights, shadows over here. So the tabs have changed accordingly. So when you go to version 2, uh, then again you will see the similar uh, sliders which are available here. Again when you go to version 4 for example, you will see that there is a change in the sliders. Now you will see that the recovery and fill light has gone and the whites has appeared. So with this current version 5, again it will be similar to the version uh, 4 what we have seen just before. So this is how that uh, rendering of the colors are, uh, will differ based on the engines what Lightroom is using to read the uh, colors in the RAW. So uh, the point here is that for example when we are uh, working with two different uh, manufactured cameras, so we may have to basically correct those colors because for example I just mentioned in uh, some time back that camera manufacturer A versus camera manufacturer B may read the light blue in a different way. And what does it mean is that now we know that in front of the sensors we have three layers of red, green and blue. So when I'm talking about this blue, so this blue will consist of the red as well as green because when the light passes through one of the layer, it passes through another layer, two layers also that is the red, green also when the blue light is passing through the filter. So 
that's the reason why that color rendering may differ so that means that this particular blue will uh, also consist of red and green so to match this blue color we may have to adjust the sliders uh, of the primary blue accordingly so that the a and b become almost same and to let you know that this is nowhere a automated process this uh, process is complete manual process and you need to be a very experienced uh, editor or the photographer to identify that blue color so that uh, the excellent uh, eye should be there so that the colors can be matched perfectly because this is the complete manual process what we'll be doing so for example if i try to adjust the blue you will see that how the blue is getting shifted so if you feel that the blue is not the blue then uh, is moved towards the little bit greenish cyanish type then you may have to adjust it to the other side and so that is how you will be adjusting the colors now for example let's take the first uh, slider that is the slider a shadow slider most of the times uh, you may see some shadows or uh, cameras produce the shadows greens and some cameras will have uh, the magenta in the shadow so if it is green you can uh, adjust it to the other side if it is magenta you can still adjust it to the uh, other side of the magenta so that is how you can adjust the colors which are available in the shadow then apart from that uh, you have the uh, red primary hue so you see that how the hues are getting impacted uh, we can make some small adjustments accordingly uh, so same is the case with the green and the blue also now uh, just a word of caution what i would like to say here is that now although we have red green and blue as a uh, with the saturation slider so don't get confused with the sliders which are available for here as a saturation that is the red uh, blue and green so they have altogether different uh, meaning at all so if you for example if you adjust the blue here see how the blue is getting adjusted over here so and in case of calibration if you want to adjust the blue you'll see how the effect is very very subtle so just to give the minor punch to the image uh, you can do some uh, minor adjustment minor adjustments over here so same is the case with the red so if you see how the reds are getting uh, adjusted over here so if again if i go to the hsl and try to do set the saturation of the red you'll see how the saturations are getting impacted over here so with the red and help of the orange so that is how the overall impact you can see uh, with this slider so this is the difference between the saturation which are available in the hsl and the saturation which is available in the calibration tab but yes uh, uh, since this is a very rarely used uh, process uh, but one can definitely use this sliders to add some punch to the image give some creative effect to the image and make your image look much more uh, better and uh, effective so this is what about the calibration what uh, we can explain uh so to the best of no my knowledge i have tried to explain about the uh, calibration uh, tab which is the last tab in the develop module so with this we will be completing the develop module so uh, soon i'll be coming up with the uh, rest of the modules like map book slide show uh, module but before that uh, uh, since we have completed the Uh, develop module uh, part so we would like to basically learn about how to export the images uh, from the lightroom with different different methods so stay tuned for that uh, and uh, if you have not subscribed my channel i would uh, request all of you to subscribe my channel because that will motivate me uh, to make further videos for all my viewers thank you so much and bye for now